Hello, there's a new version of Nomad Sculpt 173. Here I show you the new features or what's important to know about a few things. So I clear the scene. Okay, first important thing is here at the bottom here I got my view cube and the view cube has a new form it's now um, a sphere and it's possible to press left right here and um, to rotate exact 90 degrees so the next thing with the view cube is when you drag with your finger in straight directions the rotation is also straight okay so when you press on the sides here the view cube rotates exact 90 degrees and when you drag it's possible to yeah, rotate the thing exact in a straight direction. It's uh, nice for exact trimmings. Or better trimmings. So when you rotate now in a straight direction like this, it's possible to yeah, trim only in this view. Okay, the next thing I think is important to know, some people have problems with the gizmo. Too small and uh, or they can pick the single points. Here in the settings of the gizmo, here is a, a checkbox compact. You can try it, what happens when you press here the compact, it changes the gizmo and yeah, if you need it a little bit bigger then deselect the compact function. So the next thing what's new is the pivot functions here at the left side there's now a pin function and this was before the world now it's called a line and the pin function you can use to pin uh, the pivot of a other object. So now pin is active and when I add now a new object it's pinned on the pivot of the other object. Here when I use this one and add a torus. Yeah. Now pin is active and now it's pinned on this object. Okay, the next thing is here in the array, the array node when you press here there's a new function So here, this one, fit inside, that means when you create objects with an array, here you got a distance 
from this point to this point and fit inside uh, put the objects inside this distance. When it's off, it creates the distance from one object to the other. So, okay, this is this. And the next thing is when you add a the radial repeater node, not the radial repeater node, sorry, the curve repeater node. There is a new function align and snap. And it's also possible to adjust the, the radii of the repeaters. So When you change the radii, you can create um, tapered objects. And when you have more radii, you can create such objects. There's an extra video on YouTube, um, 173 curve node align video. So, yes, and you can use the snap function to snap the nodes on other surfaces. Um, so, now when you use the snapping, it snaps to the, to the other object. And you can create such shapes. Okay, so here is the change lock. This is 172, but the release 173 only got a, a GLTF uh, export fixing here. And yeah. So the next thing is this are bug fixes, delete layer. Gizmo remove world button instead. Curve align feature we got. This we got array fit option. Scene. Ah yes, here in the scene. When you now add a light, a new folder is created. There, there are your lights now in, in a light folder and it's also created an extra folder when you add a camera view. So the scene menu is cleaned up with the lights and the cameras and they are not in the um, scene hierarchy somewhere. You have to find it. Okay, and so yes, the rest is bug fix and yeah, that's it, I think, the important things. Have fun with sculpting, ciao.